Hello, in this video I will tell you more about the traffic component and vehicle pools. As you probably know, you have to add the traffic component to enable the traffic system. If you hover any of the traffic component properties, it will give you more details. In this video I will try to explain them better. The player can be your actual player or the active camera from your scene. The player is used to spawn traffic just around the active area of gameplay. The number of vehicles is the maximum number of vehicles that can be active inside your scene. Around 20 vehicles should be enough for a decent amount of traffic in any scene. A vehicle pool can be created using right-click Create Traffic System Vehicle Pool. This is a holder for your vehicles that will be used in your scene. Each scene can have its own vehicle pool. Maybe you have different cities and in one city only some type of cars exists, not all of them. For each pool you can enter as many cars as you need. I will use three and add three cars inside the pool. That means that inside your scene, it will be spawned only three types of cars. Now I will explain the percentage. I will set the first car to 50% and the other two to 25%. If in your scene you are using 10 cars, 5 of them would be the first one, 2 or 3 will be the second one, and 2 or 3 will be the third one. 2 or 3 because a half of cards cannot be instantiated and based on randomization, any of the cards can be instantiated first. If you want to increase the number of a card prefab, simply drag its corresponding slider up or down if you want to decrease the number. Always, it will be at least a car from each type if it is included in the vehicle pools even with this configuration. You can add more cars or remove them and change the percentages as you want, it is up to you. In the traffic component you have to assign the asset you just created. In each scene you will need this traffic component. About the distances shown here I will give you an example for a better understanding. Here is the player. A new car can be spawned here, which is obviously closer than 100 meters because there is a building that is blocking the view. This distance means that if a car is spawned here, the distance from the player needs to be at least 100 meters to be considered a valid spawn position. This value can be increased or decreased based on how far in front of you do you want the traffic cars to be spawned. If you do not want to see your cars appearing on the screen, this distance should be greater than your view distance. The distance to remove is almost the same. So if a car is not inside your view and the distance to the player is greater than the distance to remove, that car will be removed and ready to be spawned again closer to the player. From the yellow light time and green light time, you can override the settings you made in your intersection setup. If you select an intersection, you can see that the green light time is 10 and the yellow light time is 2. If a traffic component times are set to negative values, the time from the intersection component will be used. If the times are set to any other positive values, the time from the traffic component will be used. This is useful if you have a lot of intersections inside your scene and you want to set up them all at once. I hope this offered you a better understanding of the traffic component. I will answer any questions inside the comments or email. Thank you for watching.